Sweet Christmas, a Ghostbusters VR game was announced yesterday at the MetaQuest Gaming Showcase, along with an awesome array of other games, but let's talk about Ghostbusters. At the end of the show, good old Mark Zuckerberg stopped by to announce Ghostbusters VR as the final surprising game coming to the Quest 2. Strap on your very own Proton Pack and step into the Ghostbusters universe, based out of your new San Francisco HQ. You'll track, blast, and trap ghosts while trying to unravel a mystery that threatens the entire city or maybe the entire world. And while playing alone is an option, you can team up with up to three friends for a big and engaging Ghostbusters adventure that has to be experienced to be believed. I am incredibly excited for this game. In fact, a couple of months ago, I actually tweeted out on a Ghostbusters flat screen game saying I wish this was in VR. And wouldn't you know it, we now have a game coming to VR. And the best part for me is the co-op aspect. Apparently the campaign that you play through in the game is supported with co-op so you can bring in your friends and become of a brand new Ghostbusters team. Continuing on, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 Retribution also got its trailer, and I should mention that all of the games in the showcase meta did say were coming within the next 12 months. Anyways, this is the trailer for The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2. The description says, Continue your journey through a changed New Orleans, one that's even more dangerous than before. Expect fewer resources, more walkers, and a new bloodthirsty threat that'll hunt you across the city. Plus... Who doesn't want to use a chainsaw against zombies in virtual reality? And the trailer all but confirms it. So we're going to be jumping back into New Orleans sometime later this year. Also, the highly anticipated Bone Lab was also announced. This is PC VR game footage. But in just a second, I'm going to show you some Quest 2 screenshots that were released as well. This is the follow-up to Boneworks, the Stress Level Zero title. This is their fourth project. The description specifically says, escaping execution, you'll find yourself in a mysterious underground lab. Uncover the truth about your reality. Fight, run, and climb as you explore an exquisitely detailed combat simulation where every object reacts exactly the way you'd expect. And as a result, where creativity is just as important as skill. There also is going to be mod support on both Quest and PC VR, which is awesome. I'm definitely Definitely excited to play this game. Now here are some Quest screenshots. These actually look pretty fantastic considering these are from the Quest. Makes me even more excited to jump into this game that's going to be releasing later on this year. Now this next game I am extremely excited for. NFL Pro Era is a brand new officially licensed NFL sports game coming to the Quest platform. You're going to be able to lead your favorite team to the Super Bowl. Yes, this is essentially like Madden NFL in virtual reality or at least the depth of it it would seem, and it's got some cool stuff going on, including using real-time NFL game data to create authentic on-the-field VR experiences. You'll be able to be the quarterback as you participate in drills, and apparently some multiplayer, as it says you can play catch virtually with your friends in your favorite NFL stadium, which is going to be amazing as well. You're also going to be able to read the defense, run the offense, and make plays just like the pros do on Sundays. It also seems like you'll be running the defense and choosing plays on defense as well, according to this trailer. All I know is that I am excited and I hope that the throwing mechanics are really tight and they feel really good because I'll be spending a lot of time becoming a professional football player in virtual reality. Among Us VR also got its first real trailer and it's supposed to be launching later this year as well. It does say holiday season, so it's probably sometime late in the year, but it's taking the same formula from Among Us and bringing it into virtual reality. Not really much to say except for what you're seeing here. You're going to play through the game. You're going to try to throw accusations at each other, friend or foe, and see who can survive and try to find out who is picking everyone off. This was a surprise to me when I first heard about it, Red Matter 2. Red Matter still to this day is one of the best looking games on the Quest platform and it was fun to boot. Red Matter 2 looks even more fantastic both from a visual standpoint and from a depth of gameplay standpoint. Vertical Robot, the developer, has developed a game that they say has been built on lessons learned from the first game, and it's resulted in a longer and more ambitious adventure. The blog post says puzzles are still central to Red Matter 2, but the sequel varies it up with new tools, a more mobile jetpack to help you navigate difficult terrain, and a few surprises. All I know is I'm excited to jump back into this series that picks up right where Red Matter 1 left off. Espire 2 was also announced, which is the sequel to Espire 1 VR Operative that came out back in 2019. The blog post says, Now the team is back with a bigger and better sequel, Espire 2. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to ultimately locate and stop the launch of an untraceable supersonic missile, a true doomsday device. Wield an array of high-tech gadgets as you go behind enemy lines and try to save the world for a second time. 
Now this is where it gets exciting. And if you have a partner, Aspire 2 features an entirely separate co-op campaign with a unique mission set in familiar Aspire 1 locations. I'm excited to play co-op. I think every single game that can possibly have cooperative gameplay or multiplayer needs to have it. And I'm glad that Aspire is bringing that to this universe. This is also exciting to me. Moss Book 2 officially confirmed as coming to the Quest 2 this summer. I love the first Moss game and Quill is one of the cutest and most lovable little mice in video game history. I am excited to play this game. I have not played it on PSVR because I waited. I wanted to play it on Quest because it's such a pain to set up my PSVR and it's not set up. So I'm looking forward to jumping back into this universe and playing Book 2, which I have heard absolutely amazing things about. Also announced was Ruins Magis. Now I'm not 100% sure about this one, but I know there's a lot of yelling in the trailer in Japanese and it made me excited because they sounded so passionate about what they were talking about. It sounds like it could be an interesting game. It says, Beneath the quaint streets and alleyways of Grand Eminus lies a vast labyrinth of ruins, long forgotten by those above. In Ruins Magis, journey deep into this hidden subterrane realm in search of precious and powerful artifacts. Unravel the secrets of a lost age and grow from a novice wizard into a powerful spell-wielding magis in this narrative-driven action JRPG that includes 26 fully-voiced quests. I mean, the gameplay looks pretty fun. It looks like it could be very interesting. I'm not 100% sold on it yet, but I'll try it when it comes out. Cities VR launches on April 28th, and you can actually get a 10% discount right now if you pre-order the game on the Quest Store. And they released a brand new trailer. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because I've talked about this before, but it's going to be a pretty in-depth city building game. Beat Saber also got a teaser for a brand new mixtape called the Electronic Mixtape, featuring tracks from artists like Deadmau, Marshmallow, and Pendulum. Resident Evil 4 The Mercenaries got a trailer and an official release. It is out now. If you have not played it, update Resident Evil 4 and jump in and play The Mercenaries. I've played it. It's a great mode. It adds a lot to the game. There's a lot there with different challenges and some really cool unlockables. So jump into Resident Evil 4 again for The Mercenaries update, which is out right now. Well, there it is. There is all the games and announcements for the gaming showcase. If you want to check out an edited version of the live stream gamer tag and I did yesterday for the game, Gaming showcase. I'll put a link down in the description for you to check out, and I'll also link to the blog post where you can watch all of the trailers for every one of these games down in the description as well. Did all of this, what are you looking forward to the most coming to the Quest platform? I have to say, personally, I really want to play the NFL Pro era because I love football and also really looking forward to Bone Lab and to Ghostbusters. Let me know down in the comments what you're looking forward to the most. And if you want to get the most out of your quest and your quest too, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications. And you can check out more of my videos right there on the screen. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and happy questing.